Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's always nice to sew with you. Recently, I received a beautiful package from one of my sewing room friends, Allie. She sent me some five inch squares, a beautiful stack of florals that she said she had made a tumbler quilt with. And I thought I would take her squares and I would make a quilt also, maybe a different design. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna bring you along with me. Let's get started. Here's that beautiful stack of five inch squares that Allie sent me and I'm going to unpackage these and make these simple squares that I will join to make sort of like a square in a square using some very narrow strips. My idea at first was to use some strips that were one and a half inches and this is what they look like there with that green strip. I do have a one and a half inch um, storage here that I have some strips and squares, but it was too large for my liking. So I ended up cutting my strips one inch and I'm using this easy angle to cut that triangle piece off and later on I'll show you another way to do this. But I happen to have this little ruler and I just chose a, a marking on there. I thought it would look nice to have the angle right there. And I cut across using that little ruler and it's about three and a half inches from the corner on um, both sides of that triangle. After having that triangle cut off of my square, I inserted a one inch strip into that cut. And originally I thought I'd use some white strips, which I think would look nice as well, but I chose to use some different color one inch strips. And when I placed that triangle onto the strip, I had to eyeball the um, placement, but if you don't wanna eyeball the placement, you can trim off both ends of that strip and you'll, it'll be much easier to place that triangle in the correct area. After that piece was sewn on. There was very little waste, very little to trim off, and I trimmed it to five inches. Using these scraps and squares, this is going to make a really beautiful floral quilt. I have yet to decide the name of this quilt block. And um, I tried to choose some strips that really um, had a contrast with the floral fabric. So if it was a darker floral or another color, I tried to, to add some contrast.
for my one inch strips, I did a little digging here and found some fabrics that kind of coordinated with these beautiful florals. And I just went to town and cut some one inch strips and had a little pile there. As I worked, I could just choose a strip to go with a square or to kind of, um, like I said, have a contrast with the floral square that I was working on. Once I had a good idea of where I was going with this little quilt, I was able to stack up some squares and cut uh, multiples. I, I think four at a time was really the, the most I could cut with my ruler and my rotary blade.
If you don't happen to have a triangle ruler, there are other ways to make this triangle with an, uh, just a straight ruler. So at first, I used this triangle to make a template with paper, and you would not need the ruler. You could just measure three to three and a half inches on each side of that paper, each straight edge, make a dot, and then draw that diagonal line. So here I'm making my little paper template and I'm going to tape this onto a straight ruler. It took me a minute to figure out how I needed to place that paper on my ruler, but I did eventually. <laughs> and I needed to put that long side onto the edge of the ruler and I taped it down. And then I had sort of a guide to use when I trim my fabric. So here you can see it was pretty easy to lay that ruler down on my squares just using that paper template as my guide. Another way to cut that triangle is to use the 45 degree angle on your ruler. Not all of the rulers have that angle going straight through, but um, this little ruler does. So I laid that 45 degree line on the edge of my square and I chose the, um, the distance that I wanted it and I cut across using that 45 degree line and the straight edge of my ruler. So after I had made all of my little five inch squares, I laid them on my floor in little groups of four and I picked them up in groups of four and then I sewed them together into four patches just matching the seams and truthfully not all of these seams matched perfectly and that's okay it's such a tiny strip it was fairly noticeable that they didn't come together perfectly and what's a quilt without a, a little mistake right?
once I had all of my four patches together, my square and a square together, I put them together in rows of five. And this time I did not lay them out. I didn't make sure that I had blocks together that would look good together or anything like that. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to sew them together without worrying about which block is where. And it turned out just fine. I sewed my rows together and got a quilt top that was four blocks by five blocks and decided I needed to make it just a little bit bigger. And as I was working, I did collect quite a few one inch strips that didn't get used up. So I had to begin a new storage system in my sewing room with one inch strips. I just couldn't throw those little scraps away and hopefully they'll come in handy in the future. So here I am making that last row for my quilt top using some squares that were in my stash. So I'm using again five inch squares, adding that little one inch strip and when I'm done I'll have a quilt that's about 45 by 45. These beautiful floral fabrics, I think, made a really beautiful quilt. And if you have a great name for this sort of square in a square block, I would love to hear your ideas. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.